If you're in your first microeconomics class, this is how you find the profit maximizing point for a perfectly competitive firm. Remember, last video we covered that the marginal revenue curve is horizontal because it equals the price that's set by the market. Perfectly competitive firms are price takers. The profit maximizing point is just gonna occur at the intersection point right here of MC and MR. At this point right here, if they were to produce any more units, they'd be incurring a loss the cost of that next unit is higher than the revenue from it. And at this point, if they were to produce anything to the left of it, well, they'd, they'd be leaving profit on the table because the cost of that next unit would be lower than the revenue they'd achieve from it. So that's why this point profit maximizes for any firm. Perfect competition and monopoly and all, all types of firms profit maximize at this point where MC equals MR. In terms of price and quantity, we find the quantity of units just by going down and seeing, we'll call it Q1 here on the X axis right below that point. And then the price, it's a little bit easier for perfect competition. It's just where the MR lies. At this price P1 and at this quantity Q1, this perfectly competitive firm is profit maximizing. And no matter what, they should produce this quantity of units at this price. All right, next up here uh, for the next video, we're going to cover long run profit for a perfectly competitive firm and why it's zero. And if you like the way I explain microeconomics, check out my website. My cram kit will explain to you the entire class in around two hours.